Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hollywood Actors Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. This is your host, Jennifer Lynn Warren. Today we're going to talk about clarity and how to be clear on the things you do and do not want. And it's just something I think you should think about in your career and not, not a subject I see come up very often. Conan O'Brien has a quote that helps us get, it, get this off on a more positive note. He says, The beauty is that through disappointment you can gain clarity, and with clarity comes conviction and true originality. So when we get very clear on the things we do and do not want, sometimes a lot of creativity can come out of that. And a lot of really knowing who you are and even what your brand is or is not can come out of that. So before you have to make the decision in a moment of pressure, I know this is one's the most obvious, but since it's the obvious, let's start with it. Know whether or not you would be okay with doing nudity and what kind of nudity. If they show the back of your thighs, do you want it in your claws that they have to clean up your cellulite in post-production if you have some? Because they're not automatically going to do that, just so you know that. Know what you are okay and not okay with. Love scenes are awkward, man. Know what you would be okay with before, you know, I mean, you... If you're getting the script and you're reading it, know what you are and are not okay with. Even if you've agreed to the nudity and you've agreed to the love scene, you need to figure out what that means. Are you okay with having your hair pulled? Are you Know what parts of your body you are and are not okay be having touched. You know, I have a weird one. Don't touch my knees. I don't like my knees touched. I don't like my boyfriend touching my knees. I don't like to, I don't know what it is. It's a weird thing. So I may agree to like the craziest love scene, but they still can't touch my knees. I know it's crazy, but because I know that I am not going to suddenly break into hysterics or laughing or whatever, or just be really uncomfortable in a scene if I have a respectful scene partner and they know that and they know to avoid that. Having decided what you are and are not willing to do will help you not be stressed with having to make these decisions in a moment of desperation just to book something you may later regret. We now have a lot of people on set whose job it is. Um, they're called, uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, intimacy coordinators. There it is. There's the word. Intimacy, intimacy coordinators. Their job is to make sure you're comfortable with scenes with, with sexual content. But make sure if you do have a scene, even though you've spoken to the intimacy coordinator, make sure you get to speak with the actual actor you're working with and the director so that you're clear of what the expectations are. And so you could talk with an intimacy coordinator and then all of a sudden the director throws you a curveball on set. You need to know what those curveballs are going to be. And your intimacy coordinator needs to know what your yes and no's are. So the intimacy coordinator can go, nope, nope, that's not okay. And they can be the bad guy, so you're not the bad guy in the moment. And this isn't just like with nudity. I mean, this could be with like, are you okay being shown doing drugs? Are you okay being shown as a pedophile? Like know what you're okay and not okay with doing. You should also think about your personal life. You know, this isn't just what you're willing to do on set. You should also think about whether you'd be willing to give up a vacation if you book a role. It's an old joke in the industry. If you want to book a role, make plans. This decision is going to have an effect on your relationships. Is an audition more important than the lunch plans you had with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Think about this now. And have these conversations with your friends and loved ones now. It's not fair to them if they don't know what to expect when things come up. You may also have moral or religious objections to material. Decide now that it's okay to turn it down so you can have that conversation with your representation. There are a few other things to take into consideration and discuss with those close to you and with your agents. Film and TV shoots all over the world. You could be in Australia for a few months. Your family may expect you home for Thanksgiving, but that's not an American, I mean, that's an American holiday. That's not an Australian holiday. So you may, you're going to be working on Thanksgiving. 
So you, you're going to be working, and it's not just Thanksgiving, it's other American holidays as well. So you'll be working on days you're used to having off. Sometimes the catering is sweet and we'll do a turkey dinner to help you feel more at home, but that's not something you can even expect. It's just something some of the sweeter caterers do. This comes into even more consideration if you have or are planning on having children. And I think everyone should be able to have it all if they want to have it all. But you still need to think about it now before it becomes a last minute problem and family and friends are upset because they haven't thought it out. Not, not everyone even celebrates Christmas around the world, just so you know, you know. So have these conversations now. Think about things of what you're willing to give up and not giving up, not to give up. Um, I remember one, one of the earliest lessons I ever had in this. I was in high school and I was helping the local community theater backstage. I was just like a stage hand helping with props and things like that. I wasn't even getting paid. My high school drama teacher was directing. It was Joseph in the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Um, but I loved it because I got to be in a theater. And we found out it was like two weeks out before the curtain went up that two of the cast members happened to be engaged and that they were going to need um, a day off to get married. And they apparently they had this in their thing when they auditioned. And I think my director just she didn't see it or she didn't clock it or whatever. You know, it's community theater. They're not going to take people's lives into as much consideration. There's no agent there, you know, helping coordinate schedules. And even though it's just a community theater production, they refused to change the date of their wedding and they should not have to. But they were fired. They were fired from the production and they were replaced. And that was just a really early in my life wake up call of if I am going to pursue this acting thing that the industry and I mean, we're talking just the community theater, but to me, that was the industry back then. The industry is going to expect me to sacrifice everything. And so before you, you get to that moment where you are expected to sacrifice everything, everything you should decide now what you are and are not willing to give up and this isn't a podcast where i am telling you you should be willing to give up everything i am absolutely not saying that whatsoever what i'm saying is that you need to know for you what is and is not okay my friends and my boyfriend all know that auditions and bookings come before everything. My dear boyfriend, who doesn't get a lot of time off, he works in the industry as well. And he he's, you know, he's crew and he finally got a few weeks off from the show he was working on before he had to get on his next one. And what happens? I book a film right in his time off. It would have been the best time for us to finally take some time off and get a little vacation. But we couldn't because for me, my priorities are a booking over a vacation. And he knew that and there's no hard feelings, but he, he absolutely knew to expect that. So these are the, this is what I'm talking about, the types of conversations that you need to have with your reps, with your significant others, with even your friends. Because I know some of you have friends who also don't understand when you say, oh, I actually can't meet for lunch today because I have to meet with my coach because I have this audition tomorrow. The great friends are the ones that get it. The ones that don't really get this industry are going to be like, what are you talking about? It's just like two hours for lunch. But if they know, if they're no like, oh, of course she's not coming to lunch. She's got an audition. You know, she always does this to us. At least they know what to expect, right? So get clear on what the people in your life and what you have for your expectation expectations for when things go down 
In the meantime, we are still sponsored by WeAudition.com. Use promo code HAG25 for 25% off if you don't know what that site is. Are you sleeping under a rock as an actor? That's it. That's all I have for you this week. Break a leg out there and remember, you are not alone.